What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to solve this trigonometric equation. The equation we have in this video is sine squared theta plus 3 sine theta plus 2 equals to 0 and we need to solve it for theta and theta must be between 0 and 2 pi. So the first thing I want to do, I want to solve this quadratic equation using factoring method. So you remember this formula is the same as the standard formula of quadratic equation so I need to use the method to factor that we have 2 here we have 3 we're looking for two numbers multiplied by 2 and two numbers add to 3 so 2 times 1 is going to be 2 2 times 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 so the numbers we have is 2 and positive 2 and positive 1. So here I'm gonna write it as sine theta plus 1 times sine theta plus 2 equals to 0. Now we have it in factored form. We, knew, we know when we have two expressions, the product of two expressions is 0, it means that any of this expression can be 0. Why? Because 0 times any expression will be 0. So we have sine theta plus 1 equals to 0 or sine theta plus 2 equals to 0. Sine theta plus 1 equals to 0, it results in sine theta equals to negative 1 and sine theta plus 2 equals to 0 equals to sine theta equals to negative 2. As we had earlier, and you saw it in different videos we had so far for trigonometric equations and basically all trigonometric videos sine and cosine the range for sine and cosine functions changing from negative 1 to positive 1 it means that the value of cosine and sine cannot be greater than positive 1 and cannot be less than negative 1 so here in the second part you see sine theta equals to negative 2 which is not going to be possible and there is no solution to this expression so here we have no solution because that's negative 2 on the other hand, we have sine theta equals to negative 1. We need to find out what theta value or values make sine theta equals to negative 1. From 0 to 2 pi, we have only one value, which is going to be pi, that makes sine, that's actually sine, so it has to be uh, 3 pi over 2. I thought it's cosine, but it's going to be 3 pi over 2. When theta equals to 3 pi over 2, is going to make sine theta equals to negative 1. So the only answer to this question will be 3 pi over 2. That's the answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put related videos in the description. If you need more extra examples, you can take a look to the description. And if you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You have access to many other videos regarding math and science. Thank you for watching and have a great day.